What's up all my boxing bros and broettes? I just wanted to do a quick video about that trash that happened last night on ESPN. You know, I didn't want to do a prediction on that fight, Pacquiao versus Jeff Horn. I wasn't about to watch any Jeff Horn fights. Never heard of the dude, 16 and 0. Um, you know, I, when, when the fight was first announced, I was like, oh man, who, who is this dude they, they getting, you know, the legend, the 38-year-old legend, Manny Pacquiao, to fight, who's still really good. I don't care what anybody says, he's still good. More defensively responsible now, at 38. Um, and uh, I was like, I hope it's not on pay-per-view. It wasn't. You know, I had actually reconciled with the fact that it was a bad mismatch on paper because it was going to be on ESPN for free. And I was like, okay. Man, that's 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 cool. I, I see what you're doing, Top Rank. I see what you're doing, Bob. Here, I'm like, so that's that's good. You know, we need we need that. But we didn't need what happened to Manny Pacquiao last night. Um, the fight took place in Brisbane, Brisbane, Australia, and um, Manny Pacquiao was Manny Pacquiao. He looked a little smaller. I want to say. Oh, maybe it's just because he uh, he didn't have the didn't have as as much as you know how he used to wear that that goatee and his hair is a little you know had a little more hair he had he was more clean shaved this time a little more distinguished I guess it's because he's you know doing this political politician thing right now but um Jeff Horn is a big welterweight I noticed that right out the gate and um, I, I'm not trying to be mean or anything but I'm just got to be honest he's crap. Jeff Horn um, used a lot of dirty tactics to try to roughhouse, you know, beat up instead of fight and actually outbox or knock out Manny Pacquiao. It, it was bad, you know, a lot of illegal forearms, elbows, um, head butting, leading with his head. And that, it's kind of weird because how you gonna lead in with your head? You the bigger guy. You know, he had three inches of height on Manny. Um, I know he came into the ring at at least 160. You know, Manny was probably 146. He probably wasn't even 147, you know? He walks around at 140, he has to eat up to get to close to welterweight. So, Jeff Horn was bullying, roughhousing, not really landing anything clean. Um, Manny outlanded him, was landing the cleaner shots. In the ninth round, he almost had Horn out of there. I mean, it was vintage Pacquiao looked like when he was beating up Margarito. Um, his, his face started looking like that, Jeff Horn's face. Uh, yeah, I, I, I thought Manny won the fight. And to the shock of everyone in the world, probably even two Jeff Horn fans in Australia, the, you know, 100,000, 200,000, maybe a million people that have heard of him out of 7 billion people in the world. He won. Two judges had it, 115, 113. So seven rounds to five. One judge had Jeff Horn winning nine rounds to three. Now, excuse my French, but where in the hell did he win nine rounds? Houseway, please. I'm, I'm trying to find where are these rounds at. Oh, do they mean like the he won nine rounds over the course of the two fights that they're about to have? Because I, I hope Manny Pacquiao gets that rematch in America and beats the crap out of Jeff Horn. I really do because I didn't like all the cheating. All that, and I understand, you know, sometimes in boxing, you uh, some boxers use tactics, you know. I, I've uh, some people will say B-Hop is dirty, uh, Ward is a little dirty, even Floyd, you know, he uses his elbows to push off. The, what Jeff Horn was doing was excessive, including the headlocks as well, you know. And, um, I mean, two headbutts on both sides of, of Pacquiao's, you know, forehead. I mean, that's just excessive. Um, I didn't think the ref was did actually did a good job in this fight. It was weird, like, you know... Um, he, he could have deducted a point 
from Horn a couple of times and, and he he barely warned him towards the end of the fight I mean it was like the 10th round and he finally gave him a warning for the elbow and I'm like dude he's been using that this forearm elbow this whole time and I'm like and it's not like he's just you know using it in a tricky way like Mayweather or B-Hop might use the elbow it's kind of tricky how they do it you know they kind of slipping in a little bit and push off. He was rubbing against Pacquiao's face with his forearm in the tape. And it's funny that he was having tape issues all night. I think they were rubbing that tape on Pacquiao's face. You know, try to cut him up a little bit. Man, I don't, I don't know. Look, that was horrible last night. Manny, you still a legend to me, bro. You know, you did your thing. Yeah, you 38. You looked a tad bit slower. Jeff Horn was not on your level. I, I had you winning actually nine rounds to three. I, I thought Pacquiao easily won the fight and so did everybody else. Um, the judge that had it nine rounds to three for Jeff Horn, somebody needs to find him. You know what, Manny, Manny's click, his 100, 100 person entourage, they need to all get together, take some pillowcases, fill them with bars of soap, and simultaneously beat the crap out of that judge while the Philippine national anthem is playing in the background. <laughs> Cause that that was who what kind of scorecard was that? That dude needs to be investigated. He needs to be suspended. He shouldn't be able to judge any boxing fights anymore because that was corrupt. You know. Maybe it was a little close fight. I don't see how Jeff Horn wasn't landing anything clean. He was swinging wild. He can't box. His footwork was disgusting. How was it even a close fight? Like Bradley was saying it was a close fight. Look, Bradley thought they was in Argentina last night. So, you know, them, them shots Provodnikov was hitting him with and that Vargas caught him with in the 12th round, it's still lingering on, on my boy Bradley's mind. I'm sorry, Tim, but you sound a little weird last night, you know? Uh, I'm just... I'm, I was just upset about it. I'm still upset. It's, it's, it's bothering me. I just hate that, you know, you get to see Manny Pacquiao, certified legend, first ballot Hall of Famer, on free TV, ESPN, for the first time probably ever, you know, and people around the world are watching this. And that stigma about boxing being corrupt it, it, you you add you add uh you add fuel to that fire. The judges added fuel to that fire last night. And people are like, well, see, I told you this is why we don't watch boxing and we watch UFC. You know that classic argument. Well, see, this is why boxing is dying. You just added fuel to that fire. Thanks a lot, uh, judges, uh, whoever those judges were. I want to see their names. We need mug shots. That was bad, man. That was bad. <clears throat> but yeah, that's just my little rant complain about that fight um drop a comment in the comment section let me know what you guys think did anybody out there have jeff horn winning please somebody if somebody had jeff horn winning i'm not gonna clown you anything like that just drop a comment in the comment section and explain to me how jeff horn won when he was outlanded by about 100 punches like manny landed almost 200 punches to jeff horn's 82 or something <laughs> so um, yeah, just drop a comment in the comment section, uh, like the video, share the video. Hey, this is Brohammer signing out.